Welcome on in to the Thursday edition of Sports Memo. Today, I'm your host, Dan Alexander, and you see to the side of me, I got Dan Kaiser and Rocky Atkinson making his well ballyhooed uh, return here, I guess I should say, to Sports Memo today. We haven't gotten to talk to Rock here in a little bit, but he's coming just at the right time as he has been running hot across different sports, as has Dan Kaiser. He's finally on the diamond that he's well known for and we got four different bets coming your way in 30 minutes or less we do it every tuesday and thursday here on sports memo today you need a bet for friday don't worry dan kaiser gonna have one in the mariners and angels game we got a two pack of plays coming up in this florida and vegas golden knights game will florida get off the snide we'll find out what our experts think on that one and if you need a little nightcap baseball action well we got a breakdown for you coming from rocky atkinson in the cubs and the angels so that's what's on the docket here for today but let's get right into it and welcome back to the show a fellow dan dan kaiser joining me here and dan initially you wanted to take a look at some day game potential baseball in a, a two game set in uh, in the bronx but uh who knows with uh, with the air quality what the heck is going to happen with that game going on. I look outside my place here in Philly and it looks apocalyptic. So uh, let's stay away from that. Let's go over to the West Coast and talk a little Mariners and Angels. This game going on Friday. How do you think is the best way to attack this one after the Mariners are going to be coming off getting absolutely shelled in their last outing? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the under in this game. And yeah, like you said, mm. I, did like, uh, I did like the White Sox in the second game of uh, the double header of the night, but uh, who knows if they're going to play that. And my best play for the day has already been canceled. So I figure let's move to Friday. And unless there's a, uh earthquake on the West Coast, we should be pretty safe in this with this game going off. Uh, it's the first uh, game of a three-game set between Seattle and Los Angeles. This is going to be a great pitching matchup. The Mariners are going to go with the – going to have Louis Castillo on the mound. And the Angels look like they're going to kind of let the show hey with Tani. Uh, Castillo is coming off the start. Uh, we allowed just one run in seven innings. Uh, unfortunately, got the loss on that one against the Rangers. As Seattle is, as they've gone throughout this uh, season so far, just can't seem to score runs. Uh, over his last three starts, he's just given up that one run. Uh, he did have a little rough three-game set uh, outings be before that. We were allowed 12 runs over his uh, over three games. But for the season as a whole, he's got a 2.55 ERA, a .98 whip. Uh, he's got six starts this season where he's allowed one or zero runs. And he's facing uh, an Angels offense. You know, he, yeah, they got Trout, they got Otani, but the rest of that team just doesn't seem to put up a ton of runs. They seem to be hit or miss all, uh, so far this season. And what can you say? The Angels going with Otani. You know, he uh, he is Shohei Otani. He did struggle last week against the Astros, but I look, he's facing a Seattle team that, on average, strikes out 10 times a game. And they're even worse at striking out than that on the road. So you got these two uh, really strong pitchers going, two teams that aren't hitting. And, you know, Seattle, I've been on a lot of their unders this season. They just can't seem to score runs. I like this pitching matchup. I don't see a lot of a lot of runs being scored by either team. Mm -hmm. I know it's a low number at seven, but they put that number for, there for a reason because of these two pitchers. I still think it stays under the number. Staying under seven, and that, again, is on Friday. So if you want to grab that, you want to grab that potentially now and make sure that you're getting that seven that Dan is throwing out here as the free play to start off the show. And it's worth mentioning before we switch things over to the ice, last 10 in Major League Baseball is where you really started seeing it. Seven and three in your last 10. And you have any premium plays loaded over at sportsmemo.com when people check out your page? Yeah, I'd uh... – the so game I did like today, my best game was the uh, the Marlins, and that game got canceled. But I do have a game mm. uh, I'll play, play on the uh, the side for the NHL game tonight. I'm stayed off the rest of the baseball slate just because the East Coast games. I you know you still don't know who's playing or who might not play, and I'm just looking forward to this weekend and start new series, start these new series and uh, new opportunities to make money. Well, Dan, you talk about your breakdown in the Mariners Angels, and I guess that you might be a contrarian by nature because as we turn the page and look at the ice, this Florida and Vegas Golden Knights game, we saw seven goals in game one, 
We saw nine goals in game two. So what do you think? Is game three finally when we're going to slow it down here a little bit? The total sitting at six. I would figure most people just look at those first two games and say, all right, give me the over. Let's uh, let's continue rolling. Maybe it'll be Florida finally netting some of these goals instead of just getting rolled up on. But uh, what do you think? Is finally the case to be made for the under in game three? Well, I liked I liked this. The start of the series, I thought this was going to be an under series. Uh, especially the way uh, Bobrovsky was playing, you know, uh, in the play- in playoffs before, the series was before, and it just hasn't turned out that way. I'd still, could, I'd still make the argument that if uh, Florida didn't score with 12 seconds left in the second period of game one, that game probably would have stayed under the number. But that's not what happened, as you said, in the second game of the series. Uh, you know, Bobrovsky, that's the thing. He just hasn't looked like the same goalie he has that carried this Panthers team so far in the playoffs. I just have a, a little feeling that maybe that layoff between uh, the conference finals and the uh, start of the Stanley Cup may have thrown him off a bit. He lost a little bit of his rhythm. He just hasn't looked, uh, looked the same be- be- between the pipes. Uh, if, I'm going to look at it this way. If Florida has any chance to win this series, Bobrovsky has to. Has to get back to the form that he was before. Uh, if he's not standing on his head, this Panthers team doesn't have a chance. Uh, so I'm going to give him one more chance to to uh, to get back to where he was. And I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to take the under in this one. They're at home. They know they can't get behind in this one. I think the defense is going to play a little bit tighter. And uh, hopefully they can keep Vegas uh, out of the back of the net. According to Dan Kaiser, it's under time here tonight. And as he mentioned, he's got a premium play up on this game over at his page, sm.buzz slash DK. Well, Dan, it was nice having you back on, my man. We'll definitely be chatting with you soon. Stay hot on the diamond. Seven and three in his last 10. That's Dan Kaiser again. Hey, Dan. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, glad to be back uh, for sure. Um, uh, looking forward to a good weekend here this weekend. Yeah, I'm leaning to the barking dog here today in the Cubs. Um, they're 26 and 35 overall this year, while the Angels come in with a 33 and 30 overall record on the season. Drew Smiley's five and three with a 3.56 ERA overall this year, and he's three and two with a 3.60 ERA on the road this season. Reed Detmers, 0 and five with a 5.15 ERA, ERA overall. He's 0-2 with a 5.33 ERA at home this season and 0-2 with a 5.74 ERA his last three starts. So not getting it done there for him. A bright spot for the Cubs is when they do face left-handed starters. They're 11-8 this year where they score an average of 5.6 runs per game. Uh, the Cubs are 6-3 this year after three or more consecutive losses. Angels 3-7 their last 10 interleague home games. They're three and nine their last 12 games after scoring five runs or more in their previous game. The Cubs six and two their last eight meetings overall in this series, five and two the last seven meetings when playing at Los Angeles. 
I'm looking for the Cubs to try to avoid the sweep here. I'm going to recommend playing the underdog Chicago Cubs in this one tonight. The Panthers staring at that 0 and 3 in the face. Finally, they get home to home ice. Um, you know, what do they have to do, Rock, to finally get off the snide a little bit? Because uh, they fall in an 0 and 3 hole. I think uh, they'll start planning that uh, that that parade behind you in uh, in Las Vegas pretty darn quickly, man. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I think they come out uh, uh, playing well here tonight. Uh, they've played really, really well in the playoffs this year, uh, and that the extra race, the extra had finals, may have hurt them a little bit. But I'm expecting a huge effort tonight in front of their home crowd. Uh, they're 11 and three the last 14 games overall. Uh, Florida 75 and 34 the last 109 home games. They're 52 and 24 their last 76 games after scoring two goals or less in their previous game. And they're 15 and 7 the last 22 games after allowing five goals or more. Vegas, one and four the last five meetings in Florida. The favorite, four and oh, the past four meetings in this series. And my favorite stat for this one is the home team is 11 and one the last 12 meetings between these two teams. I'm going to recommend playing Florida at home tonight and make this series a little bit closer. Mm, Florida on the home ice. I know our man Joe Ranieri loves hearing that one. Hopefully, they do get it done. Minus 120 <laughs> is the price that you're looking to lay it with the home favorite in Florida Panthers looking to avoid the 0 and 3 hole. Um, Rock, before we uh, let you go, man, we talked all this uh, baseball. You know, you've been running great in that. We talked. You know, a little NHL right there, but don't forget about what you do on the hardwood. Over 200 plays documented at sportsmemo.com, 60% in those plays. So I know probably when people head on over to your page to uh, see what you got locked and loaded, you're probably already firing on some NBA action as we head towards uh, the next game in that Miami Heat and Nuggets series, right? Well, actually, I don't have anything up at the moment. Um, I've had picks every day this week, and then I do a show and come up empty. But I'm one of those guys that don't force picks. You know, if something don't add up to a play uh, with my formulas, then I simply pass and wait on something better to come along, you know, the following day. I had a 2-0 sweep last night. had a monster play on the Denver Nuggets, my biggest play uh, in the playoffs this year. And uh, also cashed with the Miami Marlins on the run line. It was minus one and a half, plus 117 in baseball last night. Seven and one, 88% last eight MLB plays. And like you said, 122 and 81, 60% my last 203 NBA, 19 and nine, 68% my last uh, 28 NBA plays. Uh, 10 and two, 83% last 12 overall picks, all sports combined. Looking at a little NASCAR for this weekend. 2-0 sweep last Sunday with NASCAR. One losing season in 28 years for the mm. Rocket Man right here in NASCAR. So looking forward to uh, to hopefully some more winners on Sunday in NASCAR as well. But as of right now, I'm passing on Thursday. Nothing loaded for the weekend or Friday yet, uh, but I'll have something up soon on my page. I love it. I love it, Rock. And, and also, as far as NASCAR goes, if people aren't NASCAR fans or whatever, they don't have to watch. All they have to do is grab the all access from Rocky Atkinson and you can buy today. It's a great day to buy using Throwback Thursday. Uh, obviously, any of these packages that we have loaded on Thursday, you can get them at half price. Check out the deals page at sportsmemo.com for more information on that. But uh, good time to buy and you don't have to watch the NASCAR races. You just cash right along a guy who's had one losing season in 28 years, that's uh, some long-term success that you're not going to see anywhere else. All right, that's going to just about do it, Rock. Great seeing you, my man. Always appreciate having you on, and hopefully we'll be talking to you again soon, my guy. So appreciate you, Rock. Thank you, Dan.
That Good is Rocky too, Atkinson. Appreciate you, brother. That's Rocky Atkinson and Dan Kaiser bat the lead off there. We got you actionable info that you know and love in 30 minutes or less. It's what you know you're going to get here every Tuesday and Thursday live on Sports Memo today for the two aforementioned terrific gentlemen and the producers doing a terrific job behind the scenes. I'm your host, Dan Alexander. We'll see you next Tuesday, hopefully with a little more money in our pocket right here on Sports Memo today.